I went out to the compost pile and this is what I got. And I didn't plant these tomatoes. This is what we get every year. The compost pile is kind to us and it gives us tomatoes. I'm going to have some of these and maybe Jim will too. I don't know. I brought them in so we could share them. But aren't they beautiful? Little tomatoes. They're, they're cute. They're just tiny. They're, they're supposed to be cherry tomatoes, but I think they're a bigger cherry tomato. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Before I begin, I'll tell you how my Zoom call went. It was really fun. There was 11 of us, and the reason we used Zoom is because my niece wanted to. <laughs> um, Pretty much. I had questions as to if Skype was still used. Yes, Skype can be still used, but you have to have a PC to do that, I believe. No? No, you can do it on phones and iPads. But anyways, yes. most people, you do the, uh, your brother does it on the computer mm. and Skype. Um, FaceTime, I do FaceTime a lot. And I've also done Messenger, where if you're in Facebook, there is that Messenger and, and you can send a message, you can send a little video, or you can video chat. And I have video chatted. I've video chatted with Jane up in UK. I don't think I've done anybody else. Have I done anybody else? I don't know. There was somebody else I did, but it was such a long time ago I can't remember who. That's pretty sad. I'm sorry if you remember, mm -hmm. and I don't. Um, it's like the saying, you'll remember, or I said it, you didn't, I'll remember, you won't. <laughs> do you, you ever think of that? Like you'll you'll say something and they'll make it sound like it's their big idea. Well, it's because you said it. They didn't. And you remember, but they don't remember that you're the one that said it. They pretend it's their whole new idea. Today, I took a little br um, Mr. Brown outside to, ha to chicken school. I call it chicken school so that he can see what the other chickens are doing and interact with them if they will let them. Well, today was not a good day. He got scolded where he was with uh, Blackie, tried to interact with Blackie and her babies, and Blackie just went over and pulled his little fluffy feather, and he squawked, and he ran back to me, and he was like, he wanted out of there really fast, so I took him out, and then later on, I brought him back outside, but I put him, he was on the outside of the fence with me. I sat on the deck floor and he sat and every time I moved my foot he would come a little closer so I put my feet way out so hopefully he would get more into the grass because I want him to to notice the grass because he can he can peck at the grass and so then I got a stick and I was scratching in the dirt and so he started scratching in the dirt so he, he kind of follows what you do so I had to pretend I was a chicken for a little while but when I brought him outside I took him outside for a little walk too. What it was is I wanted Jim to move the rooster trailer because I don't think the hens are going to use it. I've tried to put him in there with the eggs and with Emma getting lost all the time with what nest she's even supposed to be on, I decided well they probably won't use that building so we moved the building on top of the hill and before we moved the building on, well Jim moved the building, I just kind of stood in the sunshine and enjoyed. <laughs> you did I did a little things. bit, but not a lot. I'm not as strong as I used to be. Boy, am I've gotten weak. But anyways, I walked up the hill with uh, Mr. Brown, and he wanted to sit on my arm. So I let him sit on my arm. Well, what a mistake. He pooped on my arm. And because I had my arm against my shirt, um, across my body, the poop got on my shirt, and I also got a little bit on my pants. So I came back in, tried washing it off, and it wasn't going to come off. So I thought, well, I'll change my shirt and do a load of wash. I'll just go upstairs and get a load of wash, and I'll wash that shirt. And then when we were outside moving the trailer, it got really hot. So I came back in and changed my clothes again, because I had on a red shirt that he pooped on. Then I put another red shirt on. And it was too hot. And so I changed my slacks from the black slacks that I had on to 
some blue jean kind of shorts, and I put my tie-dye shirt on. This tie-dye shirt, I've had comments made about it. And this was a pink shirt that had a stain right on the belly. Whenever I would eat something, if it was going to get stained, a lot of people have a bigger shelf, and it gets stained on the shelf. I don't have a shelf, so mine would hit the belly, which is your lap, basically. So I... um had a stain on it and I didn't I would never wear the shirt and I thought well you know we were going to tie dye in school so I thought I would try tie dyeing but I would have I'd bring this shirt in because I didn't know what shirt I wanted to bring in I didn't have a plain old white t-shirt that I could have brought in so I brought this one in and I tie dyed it and it actually turned out really good I can't even find the stain that's on my on my lower half of my shirt I can't find it anymore because now the, the tie dye has covered it up. So that well, this was my first tie-dye project and my last tie-dye project. I actually tie-dyed for the kids but I never made anything more for myself. So, Because every year we would tie-dye it at the end of the year. We would we used to soak the t-shirt first in water because they should have been washed and we didn't get and they weren't brand new shirts. So what we did is we would soak them in the water then we'd wring them out, and then we'd put the rubber bands on, and then we'd put the dye on, and then we'd put them in a plastic bag, and then the next day they would get washed in the washing machine. And the color seemed to set better by doing that. I know a lot of people do them when they're totally dry, they will tie-dye, but we wet them first and then tie-dyed. So I don't know which way you're supposed to do it, but that's how we did it, and that turned out really good. Was that everything I wanted to tell them? I think it was. Um, we moved the trailer and I got pooped on. <laughs> that pooped on. I did carry him outside again later with a paper towel in my hand and him sitting in the paper towel. He really didn't like it. He'd really rather just be on my arm. But I didn't want to get pooped on again, so I kept him in the paper towel till I got outside. Well, that is my story and that is my day. That's all it was. It was mm -hmm. not exciting, but it was ex it was exciting enough. So the Zoom thing went really well. There was 11 of us in it. It worked better on the computer. It did work better on the computer. Because on the iPad, I said, I don't see everybody. Well, I had to swipe the page to make it go to the next page. And then you'd lose some of them. So we went on the computer, and with it on the computer, you could see every little box. I guess you could go up to like 20-some people on the computer. So we had 11 there, which was quite nice and the reason the zoom call was my niece wanted to tell us she was engaged so that's why how she did it now with normally we would have all gotten together and had a a nice picnic party but because of the blue booger we had to do a zoom call instead so that's it for today i hope you had a great day and i'll talk to you all again tomorrow bye bye